YouTube. This is MT Shark 7 here, and this is another edition of Game Pickups. And uh, this time I have two trades along with some pickups. So, first off, let's get into the first trade I did. I did it with um, a good friend of mine, Chance, as you all know him as Doom Waves. Uh, I traded him a Doom for the 3DO, which I only had. The disc only, I had an extra disc only since I accidentally, uh, um, bid it on, well, I bid it on an auction, and then I saw a better one for, like, the same price, so now I have, I got it stuck, because I ended up winning the bid. I, I was, like, the first bid, and no one bid ahead of me, so I kind of got stuck with it, so I had the extra one, and... I, he, it was around the time he posted um, his whole Doom collection on uh, Nerdtopia, and I looked. I was like, "Oh, sweet! He doesn't have uh, he doesn't have um, Doom for 3DO." So I messaged him, and at first he wasn't like. He was like, oh, "I really don't want the disc only." So then, I, as you all know, I went to that one company and got some um, custom-made uh, uh, covers or cases, rather. So I got a case, and he's like, oh, man, that looks really nice. So I told him, I was like, I'll try looking for the, um, the manual, and unfortunately, I couldn't find one. So I just gave him the disc and the, the, with the custom case. It looks really nice anyway. So he uh, sent me some common games that I needed and wanted in the collection. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. First up, we got Half-Life 2. For the Xbox, which I wanted to try this out. I mean, I already have the orange box for 360, but I think this one just has the game Half-Life 2. I don't think it includes any, like, Episode 1 or 2. At least not, the, not that I know of. So, I wanted to see what the graphics were on this for the Xbox. I was curious. Then I've got some, uh, another must-own, if you have, a uh, PlayStation 2, and that's the Jack and Daxter series. So we have Jackson, yeah, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. So there's that. And you can't have the first one without Jack 2. And finally, Jack 3, which I think those are all the Jack and Daxter games. I think there was a Dax, was there? Wait, what am I talking about? All right, that's coming up. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's coming up. But yeah. Anyway, you'll, you'll understand what I mean when later on. Um, next up, we got Crash Team Racing, uh, Ra Racing for the PlayStation. This is the last Crash game I needed for the PlayStation. So excited to have that. And I, I have the complete Jack and Daxter for PS2. So that was that trade. And then, uh, and then I went to um, Target. And I was just getting some cleaner for work. And I was like, you know what? Let me, while I'm here, why don't I look at the clearance bin in the electronics? Because I know um, Steve, he always gets good deals and he finds clearance items. And it reminded me of when I used to work at Target. I used to always go in clearance and find like games like Pennies on the Dollar for like PlayStation 2 and Xboxes, where I got a majority like back in the day of my. PlayStation 2 games. So I found two games. And I ended up picking up Angry Birds Star Wars for the PS Vita. It's still brand new, so I don't know if I'm going to open it. I basically brought it for my cousin when I did play my Vita because he always he stole it on vacation late this year. So I figured I could get that for him. Next up, this is what I was talking about. I was wondering if there was another. Jack and Daxter game, so I picked up Daxter for the PSP. And it's greatest hits, but it's like two ninety eight. Can you go wrong? It's brand new. I don't think so. And then I picked up two <laughs> two games for or my the game clubs that I'm in. First up, this was uh, September's game of the month, and that's Ratchet and Clank. It's the whole collection for PS3. It has all three of them. And I have these for PS2, but I didn't feel like digging out my 
PS2 and eh, it's sad to buy. It's just a lot easier buying this. This was cheap, 17 bucks, brand new on Amazon. Can't beat it. And then next up, I've been playing this. This is this month's game of the month. It's playing on my Game Boy. We got Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. There's that. Finally getting used out of this bad boy. I'm excited. I was gonna use the Retron 5, but with this game, it's like really a, like like it saves us when you go in and out a door. So if you're like losing health, you go in the door, like come out, and then get killed, and then you'll be at like right where you left off. And um, then uh, I was at Nick's and. Behind, like, I would usually look at the new stuff he got, and on the floor was a Sega CD Model 2 box. So, I was asking about it, I was like, oh, how much, I said, I've never seen this before, like, I think the last time I saw that was at Clover, back in the, when that was around, back in their electronics department. And, um, Nick, Nick uh, gave me a price, and I was like, oh, my, why not, you know, I might as well, and now... I can complete the system. So I got this Sega CD. As you can see, it says new compact design. So this is probably the first box when they converted from model one to model two. And for some odd reason, uh, there's the UPC is ripped out. And it has the inside stuff, it has the inside thing, but it doesn't have the manual, which I think I have. If not, I can probably just buy it like real cheap. I have to, I don't know, I have no idea. But there's that, so I picked that up. And then, a lot of that same day, I ended up picking up this Genesis game. I was on the fence about it, because it doesn't come with the manual, and I'm, I'm like, ah, really? But I was like, might as well. And I picked up Instruments of Chaos starring Young Indiana Jones. The reason I picked this up is, back in the day, my friend had this, and we used to play the hell out of this. He used to let me borrow it, like, all the time. I ended up beating this like crazy, and I really liked it. So I was like, oh, let me, I wonder how it is now. I popped this in the Retron 5. This game is complete garbage. Oh my god, I don't know how I even liked it. It was just, yeah, so it's just the game. It was just, <laughs> it's so bad. I couldn't beat one level, and the controls are god awful, so I don't know what happened. That's just crazy. So, yeah, getting, I guess now getting on to my next trade, I did a trade with uh, another good friend, Brandon, as you all know him as 8-Bit Leprechaun on YouTube. Uh, I think, yeah, we were actually, I was talking to him, I think, on Facebook chat about the Sega CD, and I was, t I was telling him that um, my friend Nick, he was saying that you can't have both the Sega Genesis and the CD hooked together and put it in there. Like, it won't fit for some odd reason, which makes no sense. It has that whole empty space. Why wouldn't they say, yeah, allow that? So, um, he was like, well, I might have an extra Genesis box. So he messaged me, and apparently, so this is going to be a crazy story of how I acquired <laughs> this Genesis Model 2 box. So he, he messaged me. I was like, oh, right, well, you know, I want the inserts and all that. I don't want just the box. He's like, oh, right, well, I'll let you know. So, he messaged me, he's like, yeah, I have the box, but it doesn't have the inserts. I was like, alright, well, I think, alright, well, that'll be fine, because I, well, I was like, well, hold on, because I know Nick, he has, like, um, game boxes in his store, like, just display boxes of different systems, and that Model 2 is one of them. So I asked him, I was like, hey, do you mind if I get the insert for your Model 2 box? He's like, yeah, no problem, so I... Told Brandon, I was like, yeah, sure, let's let's do a trade, let's do this. So we did the trade, I gave him two Genesis games, and he uh, gave me the box. So I get, get home, I have the box, I have the insert. I go to put the thing in, and it's like super tight. I'm like, what? Why is it so tight? Yeah, I'm thinking because it doesn't have an insert, maybe like the cardboard like bellowed inward. So it has to like expand out. But that wasn't the case. I finally like ended up getting it in. And it was like off like by an inch. So I'm like, why is there a different uh, size? <laughs> so I told uh, Brandon, I was like, this is crazy. And he didn't even know about it. He's like, I guess they made different sizes. 
And Nick regarded that was crazy too. So I was like, well, Nick, how about this? How about I trade you Brandon's um, uh, Genesis Model 2 box and you give me the stores one since you gave me the inserts for it. He's like, all right, that's fine. So now, <laughs> without further ado, with, I think it was a crazy story. I finally have Next Level Video Games official uh, display box for their Model 2. As you can see, it says, what does it say? For display only. So look at that. It has everything, the inserts, this has actually has the manual too, which ironically, I'm pretty sure, I know I have kept my original manual for the Model 2, so I think I'm going to have two of them, and I don't think I have a mod, uh, a manual for the Sega CD. So, super excited to have those both going to be complete in box. Then I was at Nick's again and perusing around. And one of the games I was that was on my radar was Aladdin for SNES. And every time he has it, it was always labeled damage. I was like, I don't want to buy it if it's going to have that. It always the scrape. Ooh. So yeah, so I ended up, long story short, I ended up picking up Aladdin, and this is in mint condition. There's no, there's like, all the ones I've seen had like the, the wear right here. I guess that's from people taking it and doing this with their uh, games back in the day, to, to, so they don't lose this. Uh, that's the only reason I can think of it, why I would wear right there. So that's that. I'm super excited to try this game out. And then another game I was on my radar when I was at Too Many Games was Bomberman. And I never got it. And they had it for a decent price. And this one is complete in box. So I now have Bomberman for the NES for complete in box. I can't, it's been, I think it's been a while since I uh, got a complete in box uh, NES game. But super excited to have that. I mean, it has some wear on the side, but that's no biggie. So there's that, and that is it. I, know, I actually did this video last week, and I got interrupted, and I don't know, it just turned out horrible. So when I, glad I finally got this done. Oh my god, I can upload it and be, move on with my life. <laughs> and put all this stuff away, that's for darn sure. So, yeah, thanks uh, again, Brandon and Chance, for the trades. Super excited doing trades with you guys. Look forward to it again. I love doing trades. It's so much fun, like, interacting and giving them what they want, you know. It's exciting. And it's another decent way to network, too. It's always good. Um, yeah, that's all I got, so I'm not going to keep it. Oh, my God. It was 13 minutes. I thought it was 18 minutes. Eh, not too bad. All right, well, anyway, I'm not going to keep you much longer, so this is MT Shark 7 signing out. Have a good night. Oh, I might be. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes all the same. There's a green one and a pink one. And a blue one and a yellow one And they're all made out of ticky-tacky And they all look just the same